Right, on this question I've got a triangle and it's a right angle triangle. So it's right angle here. This side here is X. This angle here is 40 degrees. And that size is 10 meters. And the question is asking me to calculate the length X. So we need to find the length X. Now, to find the length X, uh, you're going to use trigonometry. Now, to remember trigonometry, we use this special word called Sokatoa. So, S O H C A H T O A. Sokatoa, which stands for sine theta is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse, cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Now before we can actually solve this question we need to know what the opposite side is and what the hypotenuse is. We also need to know what the sine and the cos and the tan uh, mean. Now you should understand that whenever you have a triangle so if I have this triangle here um, you have to sort of ask yourself which side you're working out and which angle you're position, uh, you, are, uh, you have or you're position, positioning yourself at. So let's say on this triangle I've got A, B and C and I've got a right angle here and I'm trying to find what X is and I've got 10 meter. What formula am I going to use to work out the missing side? Now the three formulas that I can use is sine theta sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The next one is cos theta which is adjacent over hypotenuse and the last one is tan theta so tan theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Alright, so that's the three formulas that we can use. But, there's a slight problem. I don't know what my opposite side is and I don't know what my hypotenuse is. So, let me just show you what I mean by the hypotenuse and the opposite side. So, I'm going to wrap this up. Now, your opposite side and your adjacent side will depend on where you are position positioning yourself and what I mean by positioning yourself is whether you're here, here, and that one we already know it's 90 degrees, so we, we don't need to position, position ourselves here. So if I position my, myself here, um, I know that if I'm looking across, this side here will be my opposite side. So I can label this my opposite side. The longest side on a triangle is called the hypotenuse. So this side here is my hypotenuse. So the last side must be my adjacent side. So this is my adjacent side. So this will be set up if I was positioning myself here at that angle. That side here would be the opposite side. This, The longest side is always the hypotenuse and the other one must be the adjacent side. Now let me show you how it's going to differ if I was positioning myself at B. So if I was positioning myself at B for instance, so instead of having this angle there, I, will, I had an angle here, how would I label my triangle? Well, again, this is where my starting point is, this is where I'm positioning myself. So I'm right here, and if I'm looking across, that side is now my opposite side. And this side here is uh, my hypotenuse. The longest side is always the hypotenuse. And the other side must be my adjacent side. Okay, so this is how you, uh, you label your triangles. Okay, so now we know how to label our triangle. Um, let's go ahead and try to use that to find what x is. So the question is, what formula do I use? Do I use sine theta, tan theta, or cos theta? 
Now, theta just stands for the angle that's given to me. So in this case, it's 40 degrees. It's just a Greek letter that we, Greek letter that we use to uh, denote a angle. All right, so let's go ahead and try to solve this question. All right, so. Here's our triangle. I've got a 40 degree angle here. I've got a side here which is 10 meters. And I'm trying to work out what x is. x is unknown. So I'm not going to use cos, sine, or tan. Well, in this case, I've got an angle. I've got the hypotenuse. And I'm trying to figure out the opposite side. Because if I'm positioning myself at this side here, this is my opposite side, and this is my hypotenuse. So, out of the three formulas, so let me just write them again. So, sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite over adjacent. Now the way to figure out which one you're going to use is by asking yourself which three so which three um, unknowns do I have present on my formula. So in this on my triangle I've got an angle I've got the hypotenuse and I've got the opposite. So out of these three formulas, which one has the angle, the opposite side, and the hypotenuse? And I can see that it's sine because here I've got an angle, here I've got the opposite side, and here I've got the hypotenuse. That one, I've got the angle, I've got the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, but on my triangle, I'm missing the adjacent side. And for that one, the same thing, I'm missing my adjacent side. So I'm going to use sine.